Hello guys, it's Danny the Medic. Welcome to my gun hobby channel. Now today, really excited guys. I got this here Smith & Wesson 637, right? With a small little grip, right? Now, I don't like this grip because when I naturally grip it, it just points up. Don't know why. I gripped a Glock, it, it points straight forward, you know? So if I close my eyes and I, and I let's say I want to point this at at like right over here, you see it's pointed up instead of straight ahead, you know. So it's because it has a, you know, a bit of a curve to it. it doesn't fit my hand so well, right? And then so over the, over the years I I had this grip on it, and it also has a similar curve. Uh, you know, it's good for the pinky, but it has more curve. Right, so now, this came in the mail. I ordered this hair, Pac Meyer Diamond Pro, for S and W J Frame Round Butt. Terrific. Let's check it out. All right, so. All right, so compared here to here, it is thicker. And less round. Does it make sense? Does it look right to you? Right? It's just less round, right? So I'm thinking this would be a, a good grip for me. Right? They got the one finger, two finger, and then pinky. It's not too long, see? It's a little shorter. Then you know, so it should be okay looking. Now inside the grip, it has some kind of a Paperwork in there or something. Let's see. Try, try to take it out. Ah. Ah. Oh, almost. Ah. Why would they just shove it in here like this? Oh, I got it. Let's see what on earth is this about. Oh, okay, it is a screw. Now, why would there be a screw? It's a screw, guys. Let's see what else, what else is in here. Bizarre. All right, I got a screw. It's a nice little black screw here. And I'm looking, here's a piece of paper. Gun frame dimensions will vary from gun to gun, even with the same frame type and model, manufacturing tolerances, our grip will decide to fit well, majority, blah blah blah. Uh, okay, if it's a little loose on the frame, we have included a piece of shim tape. Oh, so that's what this is, shim tape. So if something is like a little loose, you can just, just put this there. All right. I hope it doesn't become loose. All right, directly on the grip frame, directly behind the trigger. Uh, reinstall the grip and check to see if grip is not tight to the frame. Add a remove tape. Yada yada yada. Okay, great. But how do I get this on? It got like one hole right here, and one screw. Oh! Oh wait! Oh I see! This screw uh, has a uh, some sort of receiving nut on the other side of it and it grips the screw. So I guess that's how it's done. Alright, so let's get this grip off of the thing here. Alright, here we go. Uh huh. You know, I will say this right now. This is kind of rubbery and grippy. Don't know how it'll, it'll be for uh, concealed carry. You don't want your shirt to, uh, you know, like, like to kind of like cling to it. Like over here, this is kind of more smooth. This one is very smooth. This one is kind of, yeah, no, a little tacky, tacky guys. 
Okay, anyway, moving on, moving on. Okay, off with the grip. Oh, I must remove the uh, the pin. All right, here we go. Which way should I hit it? This way? Ah, got it. Okay, now put the grip in. I guess it's just, just like put it on in, right? Just however. Wow, that just clipped on. Oh, I don't know. There's that clicky, clicky click they were talking about. So I do need to use that shim tape. You hear that? So I gotta put the shim tape on it. Let me see. You know, to tell you the truth, I'm not I'm not liking the way it looks. I don't like the, the, the way it's shaped, guys. It's a little too thick down here. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ah, oh, it kind of reminds me of like a ball sack. Terrible. You know, and looking at it, it's like too much grip, not enough revolver. Hmm. I wonder if I can return this. I got it from eBay. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this at all. Yeah, it just looks so... Ugh. Like, just like... I don't know, can I get used to it? Nah, it just looks... It just looks cheap. It just looks cheap, guys. I can't. I can't. I wish Taurus would make a grip that would fit a- oh! 